poker hands. Yes, you're thinking, what has that got to do with street photography? Well, it's just a great way of hanging the the names of each poker each poker hand onto your photographs, and uh, we'll explain as we go through. But uh, you know, all the way from a royal flush down to just a single card. Um, and we've got quite a bit of traction with this lately. It's been sort of publicised on uh, some really sort of big websites, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, the first one is uh, Royal Flush. Royal Flush, yeah. And uh, there's a couple of images that uh, you know we've we put up there. And uh, Royal Flush, it's just got to be an epic image. Mm. Um, it's got to have everything going for it. It's got to have great light, great moments. Um, and just everything's got to come together and it's got to be at least five people in that photograph because otherwise it's it's kind of not a royal flush. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what's the next one? I would say the straight flush. Yep. Uh, which it's kind of a almost royal flush. Sure. Meaning it's uh, it has all, all going on very well for it. Five or more people. Mm -hmm. Might be a good light, might be the moment, etc. But there is that little bit missing from the Royal Flush. Sure. And uh, that's probably much more frequent than in Royal Flush, uh, but not very frequent over the year. So if, if oh. you might get a Royal Flush once a year, probably you can get a straight flush mm. twice a year. Uh, uh, that's, that's a good year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a really good year. I think these, yeah. these Royal Flush images are almost like probably once every two or three years yeah. you get them yeah i mean they really are rare pictures yeah. but when you get it boy you know that's you, a you know warm fuzzy feeling isn't it you know <laughs> yes. um, as you'll see yeah. some of the images we put up you know when i took that first image in the flam i, I knew everything was just there it was like wow this has presented itself in front of me and take advantage of it when it does oh yeah absolutely what about the four of a kind well, four of a kind is as it's as it says. It's as it pretty, says on the tin. As it says on the tin, yeah, yeah. it's four four things, four people. Um, but it's a that, bit that more hang to together. It. Yeah. They've got to hang together, um, and all of these pictures. It can't just be four people in your image. They've got to be hanging together. They've got to be uh, interacting with each other, um, and there's got to be a great moment there still. So that decisive moment, and also great light. Yeah. So it can't be three backs of people and one front because mm. it just doesn't do it just it, it just, just doesn't justify itself so yeah that's what i would call four of a kind and i would say there must be a very strong relationship between them maybe not the uh they don't have to be four nuns uh, that are, all look exactly the same but there must be quite a strong relationship between them they could be four monks though so. uh, yeah well probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yes i i think it's fundamental that to call it four of a kind, probably yeah. it needs to be very cohesive as an sure. image. We have then the full house, which would be three and two. So we could have a group of three, a group mm. of two. Mm. Uh, again, uh, this is a very good way to describe how what you've seen. Mm. You, you've seen a, a full house. So you, you've uh, captured a, a picture of a three and a two. Mm. It can be three people and two dogs, like the picture on the screen. It mm. can be... Mm. Uh, three and two of uh, humans or whatever it is but again you're still looking for a good picture sure. you're still looking for something with with a lot going for it and i think these are these are the sorts of images now you know we're coming down the ranks a little bit that you're going to see a lot more often yes uh, yeah. you know three and a two it, it's it's not common but you are going to see it out most days you're out shooting absolutely it might not look quite right but you know, you when you when you see it now, you're looking for it. A group of three and a group of two. You know, it's going to be great. You can have that. Two people could be the, the frame, and then three people sh shooting through it. So, yeah. you know, there's lots of little things you can do. It hasn't got to be five people, three and a two, in a line. Mm -hmm. Still looking for great moments. Still looking. You know, show me the nose. I want to see all their noses in the, in the picture, so we can identify who they are, even if it's from the side. There's still going to be great light. Yeah, absolutely. And this brings us to the to the flush, for example. Yep. The flush is, uh, again, like the full house, it's five people. Mm -hmm. The full house implies five. But on the flush, we need to have five similar people. Yep. They need to be very, very similar uh, between each other. So if it can be five nuns, for example. Of course, yeah. Or five monks. <laughs> but um, it can be uh, a group of five that really stick together 
probably more visually mm. rather than uh, anything else. Because then we, we might go on to the straight, which is another hand uh, mm. with five uh, people, but probably they can be uh, linked together more by relationship rather than ju sure. just a visual similarity. Sure. So we can uh, distinguish these two in this way. But if you get something that you call a uh, straight, for example, and then you realize it's actually a three and a two, it probably is a full house. Sure. Uh, so that's the, but the full house will have the three and the two that can be fairly different mm -hmm. groups. The straight would have something much I mean, more you could, together. There's, there's a little of ambu ambiguity here, but you know that doesn't it's really fun. matter. It's fun. It's fun. And that's the whole idea of it. You know, we're, you're out, and I know, yeah, you know, we use it quite a bit. You know, we're out, and you'll go off your way, and I'll go off my way, and we'll meet and have a coffee or a beer and we'll talk about it. And even when we're sitting down in the coffee shop, we'll say, oh, look, there's two pairs there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and it might be you know, two guys and two women, Yeah, yeah. two couples. It just might be a group of four lads yeah. having a beer and you can say, oh, it was a group of four there. Mm -hmm. So you, we can use these things all the time and it can be quite, quite good fun doing it. Absolutely. And it can also train your eye to actually start looking at groupings mm. and how to link them together the relationships that are such a big thing in street photography mm. just having um, not only the juxtapositions but the associations mm. that are very important I think it's a really important thing you said there Flavio about uh, training yourself mm. because it's funny you know, as, as photographers how often do we train we don't and yet every other thing that people do out there whether it be you know, a footballer, an athletic, you know, um, an athlete, sorry, or, you know, Even just an anything, actor, actor whatever it is, you train, yeah, you train, yeah, for that performance, for that show, for that race. And we don't do it as photographers, and we should do it. We just go out there and we expect to, to get great images. Absolutely. And this so, is a very good way to start training your mind and your eye absolutely. to look for these things. Yeah, it's a great to, point to capture them. Three of a kind. It's, as it says on the tin again. So yeah. three people together. Um, there's an image there with three ladies from Vietnam, all in orange, picking orange um, flowers. Yes. And so it kind of is three of a kind and they're looking at each other. Yeah, and um, that is a, a good point. They seem to be three backs, but if you look at it, you see all the noses. Well, I'll tell you a little technique there, Flavio, because <laughs> there's, there is a way of getting them to look to each other. Hey. You, you can just say, hey, but quite often, you know, I'll be, I'll compose the picture and it's behind and I just might make a sound like. Okay. And they just, they just kind of look it. Yeah. And then you've got it. Yeah. You can't do it a lot, but just that once that just that. So let's say that this, I'm sure that as soon as you said that, some purist street photographers will say, oh, that is not street photography. Have a look at Elliot Terwitt. He was barking at dogs to get their attention and to make them jump. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can say much no, about his no. pictures not being good. That's, I mean, <laughs> with dogs, it's, it's so obvious because you, you just make a little noise and their ears prick up. And yeah. it's a far better picture if their ears are, are cocked up. So, yeah. 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 So, so what's the next hand? Two pairs. Two you pairs. You just mentioned that before. Again, yeah. you know, it can be four people. It's got to be four people, I guess. It's two pairs. I would, be, I would guess so. <laughs> <laughs> two monks and two nuns. It could be, yeah. And you could have those two monks in the background and the two nuns in the front. The image we're using is, you know, there, there's one there was a hairdressing. Yes. Uh, you know, it's a situation in India, and, I, and I've used two people in the foreground and two people in the background. But it can be any sort of little combination where two people from who, who look different, who aren't quite together, or two couples, it's two pairs. Yeah, absolutely. We go then to the single pair. Which again, all these things are, you know, as as uh, I think uh, Ron Seal says, it says what it does on the tin. Absolutely. And this is exactly what this is yeah. doing. It's saying it's... But again, a pair on the street, you see it so much on the Instagram, on Facebook, etc. You see just a random shot of a random pair. Mm. Yes, you see, you've seen a pair, but have you made anything out of it? Uh, that is the next step. So you, yeah. you just see these groupings. You want to do something mm. about it. You want to actually a pairing has got to be something pretty special to, yeah. to 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 get in your deck of hands effectively, because you know you're right. You're going to see loads of twos together. You mm. know, just every every other couple walking down the road is going to be a pair. 
but there's got to be something that sticks out that yeah. makes it special you know maybe they've got identical dresses on so they're they're like identical twins or maybe it's a you know a pair of hands you know and you can go in and take someone's hands that have got real real character in in, yeah. in, in their and the skin yeah but it's got to be something special that elevates it. it can't just be two random people exactly yeah. let's say the takeaway is don't go completely literal no just make something out of that absolutely uh, uh, pair and then we have the high card the last one of the lot and uh you know again this has got to be a pretty special image because a single person you just go around shooting anywhere and you're going to get a single person but to make it into your deck of cards it's got to be pretty pretty special hmm. and uh also the other thing i think it needs is it needs to be a picture that is taken in context so it can be a portrait of someone you see someone on the street and you could ask to do their portrait but it's not just got to be about them it's got to put them in context where they are or what they do as a profession like an environmental portrait more yeah. than anything yeah. or it could be a, a portrait of someone they're not aware of of it's going on but they're still it's still environmental and you can still see what that person does mm -hmm. for their profession or what where they are yes so it's in yeah. context and again and, with good and light a, and a gesture a moment something yeah. that is happening is still very very important absolutely so i think when you go out as well you can start using these these terms like the full house or a roll flush or a pair with your own photographs mm -hmm. and, and see what you come back with and, and i think you'll be pleasantly surprised and it'll add a little bit of fun into your images and you know when you're out with your friends and just saying there's there's a there's a pair over there or there's a little group of three and a group of two even when you're out with you know your other half your partner or your wife or your husband sit in a coffee shop you could just think to yourself there's a pair over there mm. yeah and that, that is a very good way to do things just train your vision absolutely you you train the yourself uh, train which yourself is, without the camera uh, which is so so important and, and yeah. look for that little moment when it all comes together so i think that's all the the decks of hands covered Flavio. yeah i think so um you know i hope you uh, get out there and use it yourself and uh um, have a look on the blog because you, you'll also see um, the article published there and it's also been published by Petapixel okay it's been picked up by the photographer okay which is too nice because they're too big absolutely uh, and they've uh, we've got some great comments on there that people have really enjoyed using these phrases um, it's also picked up by the street photographer magazine with Bob Patterson mm -hmm. he interviewed me recently for a a podcast so was there three f's in street photography wasn't yeah it? There's, there was two three f's and also show me the nose but we spoke about um the poker hands yeah um and we're going to be doing a little article on that purely as well mm -hmm. but um i hope you've enjoyed today give us a big thumbs up please subscribe and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week with uh, mark and flavio on the sofa goodbye bye-bye